Welcome to a new video. This is JMR Art, and today I'm gonna to be painting another portrait in gouache. For this video, I wanted to try out a different editing style to show more of a real-time version of how I actually paint. Let me know what you guys think, and let's get right into it. So I start this painting like I do most of my gouache paintings with the blue base layer and a quick value study. Once that's completely dry, I move on to building up the colors that I'm seeing. My process at this stage is working from more dilute paint and slowly building up the opacity with each successive layer. My process is a, it's a little chaotic. Um, I like I kind of jump all over the place based on the color that's sort of in my uh, brush. And at this stage, I'm just trying to get the approximate colors that I see down. Um, I'm not concerned with blending just quite yet. I'm more concerned with covering, making sure I cover all that base layer. I like to work in layers because it gives me a chance to figure out the colors and to find the mixes that I like and sometimes have happy accidents, you could say, um, where I see a color that color combination that just looks nice um the way i work i don't pre-mix my colors ahead of time on the palette basically i'm making it up as i go and uh jumping around different areas where i see that color might look nice on a canvas um but the other thing about gouache is that since the color shifts so drastically sometimes between when it's wet and dry it's also like a way to it's like playing trial and error basically um when i put a color down i see how it actually looks once it's dry and then with the future layers i can make the uh, necessary adjustments The paint that I'm, I'm applying at this stage is more opaque than when I started, um, and it easily covers up the layer before. At this point, you don't want to use too much water in your paint mixtures because it will disturb the layers beneath. So I'm using nice even strokes and not really a scrubbing motion. Finding that delicate balance is one of the toughest things to learn when first starting with gouache. And learning how to control the amount of water in your brush is key. The amount of water in your brush determines what type of effect you can get and how the paint will behave when it is applied to layers that are already down. Additionally, the amount of the type of brush that you use, the brush pressure, all of those can have an effect. But the more you paint, the more you'll, the more experience you'll develop and, and it'll start to become intuitive for you. Now I want to talk about one of the techniques that I use for blending, which is glazing over an area with a brush full of clean water. 
With this technique, it's important to have a very light touch and also a very soft brush. That's because you only want to blend the uppermost layer and you don't want to scrub and disturb any of the layers below. And the overall effects, it's the, it softens up those color transitions and makes them melt together a little more smoothly. It can be a little scary in a moment, but after it dries, you can see that the colors are now more evenly blended. Teeth are one of those things that you have to, that are pretty tricky to get right. Um, you don't want to make them too defined or else they start to look a bit creepy. Um, and you don't want to make them too white or else it kind of throws off the contrast of the whole piece. So it's a delicate balance. It takes a little bit of practice. And I, and I know I definitely need to practice more myself. Um, just more facial expressions and smiles. So today's painting was inspired by a documentary series that I recently watched on Netflix called Challenger, The Final Flight. The series is divided into four parts and it goes into detail about the Challenger space shuttle disaster back in 1986. I'm painting Ronald McNair, who was a mission specialist and one of the seven crew members that were on board the Challenger space shuttle. I was familiar with with the Challenger space shuttle disaster, but um, it happened about f five years before I was born, and I, and I didn't really know too much of the backstory behind it. So this documentary was pretty interesting, and it was a uh, informative one of the reasons uh, I chose to paint uh, Ron McNair is because actually I was a part of one of the programs that were named after him um, the McNair Scholars Program and what this is is basically a program designed to increase the number of graduate degree awards to college students from low income backgrounds or first generation or members of underrepresented groups in graduate education. It was through this program that I first found out about the possibility of getting a PhD that it was possible and like all the steps that I would need to get there. Um, so I really am grateful for the time that I spent as a McNair Scholar. So I just thought it would be cool to learn a little bit more about the extraordinary individual that the program is named after. So back to the painting. At this stage, I'm just wrapping up the painting, putting putting the final details with a long round brush and um, other smaller brushes for uh, tinier details. And that'll wrap up this one. So thanks for stopping by. So until next time. I'll see you when I see you. Hope it's not too long. Just remember to fill those sketchbooks when I'm gone. Tap the notification bell to see when new videos arrive. And if you like this one, please like and subscribe. And I'm out.